Hello everyone, welcome to products. So before we start with official product, I just want to do a bit of recap from a few chapters ago because we're going to need to know this for this lesson. So how would you do this? So we're multiplying. The 3 and the 2, do they have exponents or not? They don't, so you can just multiply them. Now the x and the x are the same, so what do we do with the exponents? Can you remember? Well, well done if you remember that you plus. And so then this one has a 1, and so you plus them, and that becomes 5. And then do these 2s have exponents? Yes. So remember, this is where we said we can't multiply these two together and make it a 4, for example. You leave it as a 2, and then you add the exponents, and you get 2 to the power of 9. So let's try this last one, and then we're going to start with the official products. So the 7 and the 3, do they have exponents? No, they don't. So you multiply them. Then the x and the x, they don't, I mean, they do have exponents. And so you add their exponents, which becomes 6. Then the y's, they have exponents, and you add them, so it's 12. So we are used to seeing things like this. But what's sort of new now is when we do something like this. So now, this 3x squared is on the outside. So to get rid of the brackets, you're going to have to put it inside the brackets. You're going to multiply it with this one. And then you're also going to have to multiply it with that one. Let's see how this works. So let's just think about this one multiplied by that. That looks very similar to this. We know how to do those types of questions. I could even write it up here for you and you would see how easy it is. Well, that's not a 6. So we know how to do this. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so that's that part done. So that's 6x3. Then you're going to multiply that part. So I'll do it as a separate sum for you. You're not always going to do it as a separate sum, but I'm just introducing it. So 3 times minus 4. You can do that on the calculator. That's going to give you minus 12. And then there is no x's and y's that are in common, so you just keep it like that. So then that answer became minus 12x squared y. So this is the answer. Pretty easy. So try this one out. So 10x squared times that will give you 20, and then you add the exponents. Then 10x times 3x is going to be 30, but there's a negative, so it's minus 30. And then x, and then we add these exponents. Because what are we doing with these? We are multiplying, and so if I had to write it down here for you, 10 times minus 3 is negative 30. And then we know, we experts at this by now, that when these are the same, then you add the exponents. Okay, so let's try this one. So we're first going to do this one multiplied by that. So 3 times 2 is 6. x2 and x3 will become x5, because you add the exponents. 4 and 1 becomes 5, so that's y5. Now we need to do this one and this one. So 3 multiplied by minus 2 is negative 6. Then the x's, that's a 2 and that's a 1, so that becomes 3 because we add them. And then this is 4 and that is 1, so that becomes y5. So here's three questions. So we're going to multiply these two together first, so that's just 2. And then the exponents, you add them, so it becomes x2. Now we're going to multiply this way. So that's going to be 2 times 2, which is minus 4, or 2 times minus 2. And then there's just that x that's just going to be over there. With this one, you first multiply those two. So it's minus 3, because minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Then your exponents, you've got a 2 there and a 1 there, and so you add them. And so that becomes x3. Then the minus 3 multiplies by that 1, so that's just minus 3. And then there's an x2 and a y. Last one, well not the last one for this video, but last one for this page. You're going to multiply these two together, so that's just 2, and then you add the exponents, so that's going to be x4, and then there is no other y, so you just say y2. Then you're going to multiply this 2 with this minus 2, which is minus 4, and then you've got x to the power of 2 times by x, so that becomes x to the power of 3, and then y to the power of 2 times y becomes y to the power of 3. And so here we go. So now if we multiply these two together, 2 times minus 2, or minus 2 times 2, you can just type it on the calculator, it's minus 4. Then x, then 3 
plus 2 is 5. And then because there's no other y, you can just write y4. Now we are going to multiply those two together. So minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. Then the x3, there is no other x's, so it's just x3. And then for the y's, it's going to be 4 plus 2, which is 6. And the last one is going to be minus 6 times 2, which is minus 12. Then 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. There is no other y, so you just put it as y. Then you're going to multiply these two together. So that's just, you can think of this as a little 1. So minus 6 times 1 is just minus 6. x, then it's 2, and there's a 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And then y1 and y1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. And that is the answer.